Your Majesty, I'm just not sure. We still don't know much about these biochips. Something this powerful needs to be thoroughly understood. This is a great discovery. What is it that worries you, Dr. Coy? I'm worried about empowering robots with thinking biochips. We don't know what might be going through their brains. Dr. Rourke, do you share your colleagues' concerns? Your Majesty, I'm not as concerned as Dr. Coy. As you know, we're still in the early stages of testing these biochips. I'm sure we'll solve any and all problems they might possibly have. I agree with you, but I want Dr. Coy to be comfortable with it too. Your Majesty, to reassure Dr. Coy, let me say that I'm working on a highly sophisticated biochip called Zentrium, which takes into account all of his concerns. Also, we're encoding the biochip so that the robots will be entirely incapable of harming people. I'm not convinced, Your Majesty. You could be right, but I'm not convinced. It seems I'm in your way, Your Majesty. If you don't mind, I'll step aside and do my own projects. Also, my wife is very ill, and she needs my full attention. Mm. Dr. Coy, I'm sorry you will have to leave us so soon. If there's anything I can do... Thank you, Your Majesty. Of course. I like it when you talk about my dad, Dr. Coy. I really do respect him. He's a courageous man. He's put both you and himself in danger to stop Omicron Sai, and I'm prepared to help. You know, when I first heard the name Omicron Sai, it sounded like a combination, ominous and psychotic. It turned out to be true. Ominous and very psychotic. We will totally eliminate the existence of human beings. After I left Centrix, I didn't want to think anymore. I was frustrated and angry. I was looking for ways to release my frustrations. I got into robot fights, and I liked it. That's why! Yes, I just went crazy about the underground fights. I didn't care about anybody or anything, just about winning every battle. I was even careless about my own family. I ignored my poor daughter, poor Akina. Oh, it's clear you miss her a lot. Oh yes, a lot. Well, you never know. Look at the surprises you've had lately. It's a small world. You and I, working together. I think it was fate. You need me, and I need you. Silver Zero Two to control. We have visual on the target. I am tracking it right now. Zeus, I feel something sinister around us. Do you feel it? Yes, I do. But I am not quite sure what it is. Go check on the robot. What is this? What? <laughs> Zeus, she's mine.
You two come with me. Attack! I am fine. Just some static cling. <gasps> Akina, I can't tell you how grateful I am. Thanks. I was glad to help out. But I'm afraid Fighter paid a terrible price. I just hope I can find some way to help him. Oh, goodbye. <sighs> Kina, goodbye. Ugh. Hey, go on. Yeah, I'll have a talk with her. Daughter to daughter. Akina! High five. With what, Zeus? Poor fighter. I hope I can fix you. Akina? You really gave it your all. Akina, thank you for helping us. We couldn't have won without you. You're welcome. I want to tell you something, but I don't know how to say it. Don't be shy. It's all right. Well, I got a chance to chat with your dad. Um, and, well, I don't know. And what? Come on, tell me. Let me just say it and get it out. Your dad loves you so very much, you just can't even imagine. He really misses you. Please give him a chance. He's a changed man, believe me. Thank you for letting me know. That means a lot to me. I'm sure. I'm so glad he cares for me. I never knew he felt that way. I'm so happy. I've missed him all this time, too. Thanks for telling me about this, Megan. He really loves you. I can tell. His caring eyes reminded me of my own father. <laughs> Let's go! I wasn't sure if he loved me. I wish he would have said something sooner. I'm sure everything will turn out just fine. Hi, Akina. I don't know how to say this. I don't know why I feel I don't see you enough. Yeah, Dad. I've missed you too. Akina, my child, I want to see you more. Is that okay? Of course it is. It's more than okay. I'd love that. I feel awkward talking to you like this, but I just want you to know that your daddy loves you. With all my heart, you're my reason for living. Daddy! I am so happy. I guess Mango's even happier. <laughs> 
There's nothing like a family reunion. Ah, you come back here, Mango! Ah. <laughs> Isn't it beautiful? It certainly is.